Hey guys, this is Dr. E here from Dr. E Skateboard. Today, I'm going to help show you how to um, change your Vestar Black Hop uh, from the all-terrain wheels to any street wheels, uh, any ABEC wheels that's got six holes. Um, so this is a really cheap Cal 7 uh, wheels you can get on Amazon. 90 millimeters. I just had some extra parts, so I'm going to use this. Um, you can go ahead and use like 120 millimeter wheels also. If you go from here to 90 millimeters, you're going to get almost 30% uh, gain in performance. And also your range will also almost 30 to 40%. That's approximate, but we'll check it out. Now, if the Hobbywing ESC in here has, um, so long as the limits are just based on uh, the amps and not speed, you should also get much higher top speed. Um, so I'm getting like 25 miles per hour top speed. You should be able to get easily 30 with this um, just wheel change. So take the nut out, take, um, save the spacer, pull out your wheel. Just take the belt off. Uh, wear some gloves when you do this because uh, when I was first fixing my skateboards and I didn't wear a glove and your 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 hand just literally just becomes like a sandpaper later. So always wear gloves. Take the wheel out. All right, you can save it for later. And you will probably need new belt sizes um, because we're gonna be using a smaller pulley. All right, and that's another reason why we're gonna get speed. Um, so this is designed for all terrain wheels. See how large the uh, pulley is so this is probably like a 57 teeth tooth teeth um, to this motor pulley now when using smaller wheels we're going to go ahead and use um, DIY, DIY electric skateboard.com's uh, wheel pulley so it's much much smaller you can see let me actually take it out so you can see so we're going to go ahead and use this pulley I do recommend this because this is a 15 millimeter pulley and we're using 15 millimeter belts. Um, so I do actually the best pulley you can buy for this particular thing uh, is this one. And you can get the 36T, 40T or 45T. I've got the 36T, which means 36 uh, teeth. That should be plenty because this motor is 6368. It's got plenty of um, power already. Um, so I think you'd be just fine with 36T. If you're gonna go with cloud wheels, then you may wanna consider 40T or uh, 45T. But with, um, with this one, you're gonna get about 2.25 to one gearing. Um, so you're gonna have a lot more torque out of the box. And it's especially if you're going up hills, um, you're gonna be able to accelerate much, much faster. All right. Um, of course, it's not gonna go over potholes as well. Um, you can always swap it in if you, you know, live in New York City or something. You might be better off with the all-terrain wheels. But this is for the just for those of you who want to really just get more speed out of it. Um, you feel like you want to try street wheels, um, so you can always go back really easy. Another thing you'll need um, is larger bearings, right? For 10 millimeter shaft. So this is a 10 millimeter shaft. Uh, regular skateboard wheel bearings are eight millimeters, so it's not gonna fit. This is the uh, same same diameter, outer diameter, um, so you can use this to fit 10 millimeter. So, and also you'll need, um, you'll need a new spacer. Obviously the hole is bigger, so you're gonna need spacers. So I'm gonna actually make my custom spacers. So I bought this um, 10 millimeter uh, inner diameter, 12 millimeter, oh, let me get a ruler. So let me go ahead and show you. Um, this is a, you can see 12 millimeter outer diameter and it's 10 millimeter inner diameter. So you need the exact fit there. And they don't really sell, I have, they, they don't really sell spacer for this. If you can find it, let me know. But um, basically you wanna cut it so it fits in there. And a normal spacer is 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this uh, with a table saw. So I'm gonna need 10 millimeters there. Um, this is total of, this is 40 millimeters, so I can make almost four spacers. Um, so I'll need four spacers, actually, because I got four wheels. So I'll do that. And also, 
once you have the spacers in, let's let's just imagine, uh, and also let's say you have the pulley in here, you're gonna what what will happen is if if you just put it in like this, you see how it just it's just hitting this metal part. It's supposed to come out about it's just come out about here. All right, and in order to do that, um, you're gonna need to measure out. So I've got it right about there. And that is about, you're gonna need about, you're gonna need about, I measured it out earlier, uh, about 15 millimeters. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut 15 millimeters. I'll have to test it out. Um, so you basically, we're gonna cut 15 millimeters of this uh so so the wheel will offset because these shafts are made for all terrain wheels now if you want to use street wheels you, you can just put a 15 millimeter spacer i which it will also cut out now the first thing you'll have to do is um obviously uh, set up yeah let's go ahead and set up your your wheels first what you want to get is the wheel pulley you don't have to get the combo because you have a pulley but I just got this. This is actually like one of my spare parts. But basically, get the 36T ABEC pulley, right? And I think it's around like, I think it's around 40 bucks. But uh, I don't know anybody else who makes uh, really good pulleys like this. So I highly recommend you know, like they have good quality. Um, so this is going to be really easy. You're going to have to get these wheels through. Uh, find a drill size that's about the size of that. If your wheel fits, it's fine, but it's too small. So I'm gonna drill out uh, where I'm gonna go. So one, two, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just gonna drill out real quick. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bigger wheel. I'm gonna need a bigger drill. So let me go ahead and drill out the hole here. And now it fits, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and Get the hole a little bit larger, just a little bit will do. Let me see if it fits all the holes. One, two, three, four, and five, six. All right, perfect. Now this wheel is symmetrical, so you can put it either way. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws through And then you're gonna go ahead and um, get the other side on And just go ahead and drill it in there And boom the wheels ready to go, let me go cut out um, Let me go cut out let me go cut out uh, this here. Uh, I'm gonna need 10 millimeters, so let me go actually cut out a sample first. Fourteen point seven, fifteen millimeters. Uh, fourteen point five. Cut it slightly short. It might actually work out. So, let me go and sand those down. Hi guys, I forgot to press record button, but basically, I've got the new ten millimeter uh, spacer, and I put the bearings in there. And next, I've got um, a spacer, and I put uh, three spacers because it was a little short, so I should have made it like maybe sixteen or seventeen millimeters. But you can also always use extra spacers if you need a little bit more spacing. And you can see that my wheels now fit perfectly. And I have, make sure you have a little bit of space. Uh, now I have a nice little gap and I have a slight space for the belt. So I'm not sure if the belt, belt, the belt could be hitting. So this should be okay. I just need to find the right size belt. So I've got a, um, let me actually go ahead and undo the motor mounts, mo motor screws, sorry. Just loosen them a little bit. And if this side works, um, the other side is gonna be obviously easy. Make sure your motors can move. 
The Vestar Blackhawk comes with 335M. I have a 255M laying around, and I think this will be a perfect fit, so let's go ahead and try it out. Yes, it's a perfect fit. It's a little loose, but I can go ahead and pull the motor out to make it tight. Oh my God. Let me just see the clearance. Now you'll see that the motor pulley doesn't have a cap. And that's why when I do this, it's, it just pulls out. What I really want to do is actually replace the pulley with something that has a uh, cap. So I might actually just pull the pulley out and put a new pulley because the thing is it's going to rub against it. Um, you can see it's, it's rubbing against the... Let me see if I can fix that by taking out the spacers. Maybe if I align it, it might be a little better. So let me just take out the... Let me just put one spacer and... Sorry, one washer and the spacer. And I'm hoping this will work without changing the pulley because the pulley... Changing the pulley might be a pain. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and go ahead and pull on the on the motor. Just just a little tight will do, and then go ahead and screw in two of the screws. And you should have a tension that's sort of sort of pretty um, just slightly loose, right? But now the clearance seems real good. I want the belt so it doesn't actually go too far in. I want the belt to stay a little bit off this pulley here. I don't know if you can see here. Let me. If you look here, I have a little bit of space. The reason is that um, because this pulley doesn't have a cap, like an outer cap, mo um, they took it out because of this to attach the all-terrain wheel. It wasn't a 100% good design, uh, in my opinion, but I want the belt to come actually a little bit off. That way I have, a, I have some good clearance. That way I have some space between the wheel. Um, that way the belt doesn't rub on it. It's real close, but it will work. So it worked out actually perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take the wheel off. The wheel is out. Um, so basically I have one spacer, uh, sorry, one washer, one spacer, 15 millimeter spacer. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tie down the motor mounts. You don't really have to put Loctite in again, but just make sure it's tight. Just do, uh, just do a, a nice nudge after it's super tight and don't strip the nuts, then you will have to then it's a pain in the ass to take it out also. So let's see if this side will work. I think it's gonna work. If this works, this is pretty much the biggest problem. Finding the pulley size, making sure the pulley's not hitting the wheel, and also finding the right belt size. And luckily the 250 millimeter uh, belt size is actually perfect. So if you guys don't have that wheel size, obviously you'll have to order that first before you do this. But if you're using the same pulleys that I'm using, the 250 will fit perfectly. That looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a washer and go ahead and insert this guy, bad boy. And we'll just do a quick run test and see how, how the wheels turn. Um, so it, it took me quite a while because before I took it apart and I realized so that's a little bit too tight for my liking, but it's still fine. It's it's almost barely, there's good clearance. The belt is not hitting the wheel, but I think it's a little bit too tight here. So I might actually loosen it a little bit. Well, I might just leave it. It's a little, it's a little too tight. So I'm gonna actually undo it, unfortunately. And just make the belt tension just a little bit looser. So I'm just gonna adjust uh, the motor a little bit. I don't want it so, so tight. I want it just, just a little bit loose. Um, just so there's so I'm just not gonna pull on it too tight Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit of room and then I'm gonna tighten it without actually pulling on it and When the screws screw in it's gonna actually tighten a little bit because of the angle. So I like that. It's a little bit looser It's a lot looser. I like that Because sometimes when you ride sometimes the belt 
gets a little bit more um, tense anyways. So that's really good. Let me go ahead and, and hopefully this will be perfect clearance. Very small clearance. Um, but another thing you can do is if you're worried about the belt hitting the wheel, you can shave it off. Use like uh, some, maybe sand off a little bit at an angle so you have a little bit more clearance. That you can do also. But this seems fine. As long as it doesn't hit the wheel, we should be good. Oh yeah, it's perfect. It's just a little bit of clearance, but that's all I really need for this particular build. And we're almost there. This is the hardest part. Uh, figuring out, figuring this out. It's just, actually, it's a lot of fun. Now it's, now it rolls real nice. Before it was a little bit too hard. Your, your motor should run, your wheels should run real friendly. If you got it too tight, you're gonna have a motor that's gonna put tension on your motor and you don't want that. You want it very freely right here. Now, that looks really good. That's not hitting the wheel. And try the opposite direction. Not hitting the wheel. Um, let me actually power on the board and we'll test it out real quick. And you're gonna be also be able to see the difference between these two wheels. Um, you'll see the probably the smaller wheel going a lot faster, obviously. So this is gonna be an interesting, interesting. So I have the wrong remote for it. If you have a hobby wing, this is really easy to program. So what you do is turn everything off, hold down the power button. All right. Keep holding it down until it bling, 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 bling like that. And then hold down the button, power button, until it bling, 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 and they'll pair up. And this way, I just use one remote for all my boards. So absolutely perfect insulation. The belt is not hitting the the belt is not hitting the wheel at all. It's a little bit close, but it's fine. Woo! So guys, uh, let me go ahead and do the exact same thing to the, this other side. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and mount these two other ones to the front. And I'll be back when this is complete. But that's... That's pretty much how you do it. And you can see I've successfully swapped out uh, the all-terrain wheels for much smaller pulley, uh, much smaller wheels. Um, this is gonna give me a ton more torque and speed. Um, well, the top speed, I'm not actually sure. You might actually lose top speed because small. You should actually get higher top speed with this also because it's much smaller gearing. All right, even though that those wheels are bigger, because it's much smaller gearing, um, you should get much higher top speed. So I'll be back after doing the other side. But that was good work, guys. That was very good surgery. Hi, guys. I just want to make it clear. So the front wheels actually have regular bearings. So you don't need to make spacers nor use the larger bearings. Um, so just this is you can just use standard uh, bearings. And you can fit in your skate shoes. So just know you just need to make new spacers for the back of two wheels with the motors. So let me go ahead and finish this up real quick. Hey guys, I'm done. I just don't like the clearance. It's just barely like a millimeter or two millimeters. So I'm just gonna use a file and I'm gonna go ahead and... The file is getting super hot. So just hold it like that. Woo. So I got a little bit more clearance by shaving off a little bit. Let me try a little bit. My file is getting super hot. Um, let me try that again. So just hold it with both hands. And while holding with both hands, um, Run the accelerator. Don't don't make sure you're not and push in a little bit. And I 
and I shaved a little bit off, a little bit more clearance. Um, it seems to be looking fine, so I'm a little like covered in <laughs> all this urethane. I'll take a shower, just, oh, everywhere. Anyway, let me go ahead and test this out. I got full battery. Um, the new wheels clearance seems pretty good. I still got a uh, good two inches, two and a half inches. Um, so let's go test it out. My belts are slightly loose, which is what I want. Um, both motors working freely. And oh, I totally forgot. You may have belt covers on when in this tutorial, but I took my belt covers off uh, because I just I just wanted to see the screw. Sometimes they, they, they get unscrewed. You don't really need it. It doesn't really do anything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. And let's go ahead and write it. And let me give you um, my thoughts. But really satisfied with my work today. Um, you can see I've got the front wheels and the back wheels perfectly on, working flawless. I'm just gonna take it for a test drive. I'll do a top speed another day. But I just wanna see how fast it goes up the hills. It should, I should know right away. Anyway, let's go do this.